Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being bad at programming. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am pretty, uh, I am a pretty bad programmer. Is it possible possible for me to get better? Has anyone you knew who, that were really bad at programming became become better by spending time practicing coding questions online? No. I think you should just give up, dude. There is nothing you can do. You're either born a good developer or you're not. And no amount of practice. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I can't even say it. Of course, you can get better at programming. You. What? Is this a serious question? Yeah, I can. Of course you can get better at programming. What? Why would you not? Is the I could, you learned how to walk, didn't you? Or are you still crawling around on the floor? Like, of course you can learn any skill, guys, it, or <laughs> whoever you are. Any skill is possible to improve. Now, what I will tell you is that you specifically ask about how uh, if I know somebody who has been studying programming questions and that has helped them no that it will help you to get good at programming questions and programming is bigger than that and the thing is if you ask me what I think you should do in order to get better at programming I think that you need to work on things that reflect the thing that you want to do in other words, if you want to be a web developer, well, then you shouldn't be sitting around doing coding questions, basic uh, algorithmic questions, because that's not going to make you a good web developer. That is a supplement, and it's useful to know, but as with anything, if you want to get good at that thing, then you practice that thing, not something sort of like it. You want to be a good runner? Then run. Don't walk. You want to be a strong, uh, you, you want to be a bodybuilder? Then lifting weights is going to be better than working on your cardio. You don't have to be exclusive, but you should really favor one over the other. It's the same thing here. You don't have to be exclusive when it comes to building web applications if web is the thing that you want to do. You can do a few coding questions as well, but it's really important for you to practice really hard on the thing that is going to be the, to ref, that reflects most what it is that you will do. When, um, if you want to be a pro professional programmer, you're probably looking for a job or something. If that's what you're after, then you really need to get as close as possible to reality. Now, it's impossible to be completely realistic because all practice is inherently impossible to make completely realistic because if it was realistic uh, complete uh, if it was uh, equal to reality well then it would be reality but you can get really close so instead of spending your time practicing coding questions you should be building web applications or if you want to be a games developer then you should spend your time building games i hope that makes sense to you because it should feel fairly straight. I hope that it should feel fairly straightforward that if you want to get better at software development, you have to do the thing that you want to get better at. And just as any skill, by just practicing it, you will improve. It's, uh, it det the, it's unclear whether or not you're going to be one of the best programmers who ever lived, but getting better, that you can do. I promise you that much. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're spending all your time learning algorithmic questions or <coughs> studying uh, graph uh, theory or you're studying um, how to implement the, the greedy algorithm or the FISBUS algorithm and stuff like that, yes, these things have a certain level of relevancy, but they are not the thing that professional software developers are doing on a daily basis. You need to figure out what is it that you actually want to do and practice as close as possible to reality. Just as with anything, if you want to be a martial artist, you don't pick up a book. You learn a few pages and then you practice in reality. 
because that's the thing that is going to make you a good fighter. Same thing with programming. You have to learn some basics to start off with and you can absolutely spend some time learning these sorts of questions but ultimately you need to get to a point as quickly as possible where you are working with tools and practices and building things that are as close as possible to reality and figuring out what that is all about well that's a different video have a great day